Shouldn't be a decision tree. It should be more like a forest. After controlling for years of experience, would there be any significant differences in stress scores between the police officers, firefighters, and EMTs? Emergency medical technicians. I saw the word difference in there somewhere. Difference. So we're talking about a T-test or one of the ANOVAs. It's not a T-test because there's more than two groups. So it's going to be one of the ANOVAs here. Now, there is another trigger word here. It's the controlling. Controlling. That is a trigger word. You're going to control for a variable. And when you control for a variable, we call that variable a covariate. A covariate. By definition, a covariate has to be a continuous variable when used in the ANOVA test, the analysis of variance. So we're going to control for years of experience. The DV is a continuous variable, right? Stress scores. Let's just pretend they're 1 to 100 or something. So we have 1 IV, a, a nominal variable, a grouping variable, called, I don't know, job type. So with three levels, police officer, firefighters, EMT, and we're controlling for something. Okay, here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Real quick again, we got one nominal variable with three levels. We got one continuous variable that's stress, that's the DV, and we're controlling for something. So that becomes an ANCOVA. The C stands for covariate. Analysis of covariance. That's the difference between an ANCOVA and an ANOVA is when you control for one variable, and which has to be continuous. All right, that's it. MGZ out.